Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to The Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be going over how to edit the tab list footer, well, header and footer, and it's not really that hard of a process, although it has changed a little bit since, uh, I believe, since 1.11.2, or yeah, 1.11.2, uh, but I know it's a little bit different now in 1.12, so I kind of wanted to go over it because uh, using the tab list is something that a lot of people want to use and a lot of people don't really know how to use. So we're just going to do this on the on enable. Sorry if it sounds kind of echoey. I am actually moved into college again. So I'm in my room and there is nothing in here and I don't have any sort of setup really going on right now. I just had to move my stuff in quickly and record some videos before I go on vacation, which you guys probably already know about because I should upload a video talking about it. But first things first, um, I think I already said about all code will be, will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you guys are having trouble, go over there and check it out. But let's just go ahead and make an event handler and let's just call public void uh, join and this is going to be the player join event event okay so like I said it is really s pretty simple but I just want to go over this because it's really awesome to use the tab list um, and you can be really creative with it you could set this up in a runnable so it automatically does like animated messages and whatnot um, so actually you know what? let's go ahead and do that um, so let's just go ahead and make a new bucket runnable um, obviously you wouldn't want to do this necessarily on the player join event, um, you would actually probably want to do this in the uh, in the on enable. So let's just go ahead and actually switch this over to the on enable since we are going to do this animated. Uh, so we can actually just kind of cancel that out since we don't really need it. So let's just grab a new bucket runnable and let's just quickly grab this method here and let's just run task uh, task later or not task later task timer. Uh, plugin is this delay in 20 we want it to change every second okay so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and just make uh, a boolean up up here let's just make a private boolean title changed and okay so first things first is we're just going to go ahead and say packet playout uh, the list header footer and we'll just call this packet and then we'll just go ahead and say new packet play out list header footer that's all I got to do there so what we have to do now is let's go ahead and just uh, do packet well we want to go ahead and get a field because we have to get the fields that's how packets work uh, or reflections more or less you have to get the field so let's just go ahead and say packet Dot get class dot get declared field and we want to get the a which is going to be the header and b is the footer and now you're going to get a nice red line depending uh, pretty much in any id that you're using and we're just going to go ahead and surround this on a try catch because that's what we need to do uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say a dot set accessible true and now we can actually go ahead and create our new variables here so this is actually going to be we're going to have two components here so we're just going to uh, cast here object and this is going to be header this is going to be a new chat component text now this does not use the JSON format or the JSON text as many will think it does it used to so if you're doing this on like 1.8 1.9 and I believe 1.10 you got to do it this way and then all you got to do here is you just go ahead and put your text in so we'll just go ahead and say and a source code and then if we wanted to do a new line, we could do backslash. And then we'll just go ahead and say, uh, welcome to our server. <clears throat> and actually, let's go ahead and make this B. Let's make this three. All right, now let's make this B. Let's make that three. And then our footer will say, um, I don't know. Let's just say A, B, players online. And then we just do a plus and let's just make this a different color here let's make that e for white or that might be yellow f is white and let's just do this step nope because we're in the runnable so we can't use this so let's just do bucket dot get server dot get online players that size we want the size <laughs> 
and this is going to be the footer. <clears throat> so now let's just go ahead and just duplicate this because we're going to need two of these. And this will be B and B. And then let's just go ahead and say A dot set and it's going to be packet and then it's going to be header. Now we'll just duplicate this and then this is going to be footer. And now we're going to get another message saying that we need to add another catch clause. Um, so we're just going to copy that. We're going to delete this catch clause because what we can do, and I think I've shown this before, is you just put this straight line, I don't know what the actual name of it is, and you can just add another uh, exception right there. So that way you don't have to have a bunch of different catch statements there. And the next thing we're going to do is we have to go ahead and get the craft players. We're going to say, well, the entity player. And now this is where we need to go ahead and grab the players. So we're going to say for player player bucket dot get online players. And now we can go ahead and put player inside of here. And we can go ahead and get to handle player connection, send packet, and packet. And let's just go ahead. I know it's not animated yet, but let's go ahead and export this. And let's run our server here so we can see if it works. Um, but actually, let's make a quick check here. And if bucket.getOnlinePlayers.science is equal, equal to zero, uh, let's just go ahead and return that because we don't want this to send if there's no players online. So let's just go ahead and reload. And let me just make sure it's on here. Okay, pre tutorial. And if we go ahead and join our server. Okay, so now that we're on our server, you can see there that we have source code. Welcome to our server. Players online is zero for some reason. Um, well, I know why, because uh, well, when it was set, there was no players online. So that's something you can fix uh, at a later date if you would like to. Um, but for now, I think it, I think it'll be fine. But well, what we can do here is we can actually go ahead and just pop this in the run there, and then it will continually uh, will continually grab the players online and set it for us. So let's just go ahead and log out. Let's reload, and you can see their players online is one. Okay, so but now I said we were going to make this animated, so let's go ahead and do that. So I guess we'll just animate uh, the name. Let's just animate the name. So let's go ahead and grab this and we're gonna actually delete it from up there. And let's go down here and let's just move, let's just move these guys uh, right down into here just so they're all, everything's close together. And we will just call this header one, header two, just to make things easy. We'll change this to be, what do we want to make this? So let's just make this A. So we can say if title changed, uh, we'll actually set this as false to start. So if title changed, we are going to set as header one. Else A dot set header two. So if title is changed, we're going to set this uh, so we want to actually go ahead and set this back to false and then we're going to go down here and we're going to set it to true. And let's reload one more time. And let's join. And you can see we have a nice animated uh, tabless title there. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And I hope you guys will be smashing the like button in the comment section while I'm away. And yeah, thanks for watching.